Hello all. In this video, I will be discussing the design of impulse current generator. Let us recall the previous session. In that session, I have discussed about the design of impulse voltage generator. I have explained the design procedure in detail. I will be putting up the previous video link in the description box. Kindly go through the description box and get familiar. Afterwards, you can go through this particular video. Let us directly explain the design of impulse current generator with the help of a simple example. Let us read out the problem first. An impulse current generator has a total capacitance of 8 microfarad. The charging voltage is 25 kV. If the generator has to give an output current of 10 kA with 8 bar 20 microsecond waveform, calculate the following. Number 1 the circuit inductance and number 2 dynamic resistance of the circuit. First and foremost, I recommend to note on all the parameters which are given from the question itself. We have total capacitance 8 microfarad that you can note on. Similarly, the charging voltage is in the range of 25 kV. And also wavefront time that is equal to 8 microsecond where wave tail time is equal to 20 microsecond. Those parameters has to be noted on first. Afterwards, you have to refer table 1 and table 2. Let me show you what are the parameters which are given in table 1 and table 2 first. In table 1, you can able to see different waveforms and you can able to observe LC and RC value and also the voltage efficiency. It is same that of impulse voltage generator. Same table can be used for impulse voltage generator also. Likewise, table 2, if I look at the table 2, you will be getting the waveforms, then alpha, beta and output voltage. So, these are the information which you will be getting from table 1 and table 2. This will also help you out for solving the problems related to impulse current generator. Let us go back to the design of impulse current generator. So, note down. This is the wave front and wave tail of impulse waveform. Then alpha value can be noted down from the table 2. So alpha I have got 0 0.0535 into 10 to the power 6 corresponding to 8 bar 20 microseconds. Okay. Now LC value is equal to 65. I will be getting from table 1. LC is equal to 65. Therefore I will be getting the value of L. That is equal to uh, 60 by 65 divided by C. So what is the value of C? C value is given by 8 microfarad. So directly you substitute the value of C over here. Then I will be getting the value of L is equal to 8.125 microhenry. So the design value of L is given by 8.125 microhenry. And also there is another expression. I already, I already explained during the design of impulse voltage generator. That is alpha is equal to R by 2L. Alpha value will be obtained from table 2. Please do refer the table 2 which I have shown bitterly. Alpha is equal to R by 2L. So from this expression I can able to calculate R. Do the cross multiplication then I will be getting alpha into 2L that is equal to 2L alpha. So L value I have the value of L is obtained bit early that is 8.125 microhenry. Same value can be substituted over here then alpha also can be substituted here. Then 10 to the power minus 6 into 10 to the power 6 that is equal to 10 to the power 0 that is nothing but 1. Finally I will be getting the value of R is equal to 0 0.8694 ohm. This is the value of R. So I have got the value of L and R. Afterwards, I will be getting the peak current, expression for peak current that is equal to Vc divided by 14 that is equal to 10 kilo ampere. From this, what I have to do? I will be getting the value of voltage. What is the total charging voltage? So Vc by 14 is equal to 10 kilo, 10 kilo ampere. Okay. From this, Vc is equal to 14 into 10. From that expression, I will be getting the value of V is equal to 14 into 10 divided by C. Therefore, I will be getting 15.5 kV. So, charging voltage has been determined as V is equal to 15.5 kV. The design parameters are number 1, R is equal to 0 0.8694 ohm. Then, value of L equal to 8.125 microhenry. And finally, the charging voltage of that particular generator is given by 15.5 kV. So, these are the parameters which we have obtained. So, I would like to recommend these two tables for making out the designs. Okay, you can note down these tables. So, in this session, we have explained the design of impulse current generator in brief. Finally, thank you for watching this video.